Any tool that allows brands and merchants to stand out will help. We feel well prepared for what comes next and really eager to get started. Hi. Hey Ben, how are you? People want to sell and buy stuff, you know, to and from each other. It is so varied, and no, no matter how you know how far down the road we get on this whole internet online e-commerce um, journey, you know, there's, there's, there seems to be no one magic way, you know, no one true way for people to find what they want and and, and buy what they want. That's why open source has always made the most sense, right? Because I think, you know, you can try and be really, really prescriptive with how people want to buy stuff for merchants. You know, in the past, vendors have always tried to, you know, work in, in, the, in the best interest of their customers, but having all of the vendors around a customer, having open communication and collaborating, I think, is, is like, that's the next step of where we're headed. Yeah, it's, I think it's our, our mission and vision to, to inspire people to inspire merchants to leverage their growth potential. And I think the best is uh, the whole ecosystem and the community we have built so far. And with you, Ben, on board, so I think we have now the, the power to go more international. We just need to show people that anything is possible um, when, with, with shopware as a core. And I think once you do that, the great thing is then everyone shows up with their minds open, you know, fully engaged, and they start to take what they dream and make it possible, you know? And I mean, and the real secret is, I think actually, shopware is only a little bit of that as a foundation. But if you look at like, you know, our, you know what our code is actually doing, but, but just making people believe and, and that, that, that they can actually achieve these things, that they can actually create, you know, truly unique experiences. That I think is the real, is the real secret to success for us. Okay, so Ben Marks, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear that name? New Horizons. That's what I think when I hear Ben's name. I first met Ben at our Shopper Community Day in 2016, more or less by chance, since I just happened to be sitting next to him during Stefan's keynote address. And yeah, I, I remember being a bit starstruck because we were this fast growing but still fairly small German e-commerce company that was just taking its first step into more international waters. And he was Ben, lead evangelist for Magento at the time, one of the biggest players in the e-commerce industry, which was then later acquired by Adobe. Obviously a huge, super respected company for creative software. The fact alone that Ben was there, that someone that experienced and knowledgeable in the e-commerce business had noticed us and thought it worthwhile to pay us a visit here in Germany, yeah, it, it proved that we were seen as a valid competitor, you know? And yeah, I, I had a little chat with Ben and <laughs> the funny thing is that he uh, didn't quite realize who I was and at some point asked, do you work for Shopware? But we kind of hit it off and kept in touch. Yeah, and then when Shopware 6 was getting ready for release and we realized that we finally had to, yeah, had the, had the tool to really shake things up and thought about who might be the right person to represent us in international markets, Ben was at the top of our list. I remember when Ben's name first came up as someone who could help us along on the international stage. Normally it's Sebastian who tells me I'm crazy when I have another wild idea. But this time I thought, how does this even work? I mean, this is Ben Marks. In our little corner of the universe, he's a superstar. He can work anywhere he wants. So did we just pick up the phone and call him? After all, he was working for a competitor. But in the end, we just went for it. We reached out, set up a video call, and just talked about where we were in relation to the rest of the e-commerce industry, where we thought the market was going, how we plan to approach the changes that were on the horizon all still pretty informal, almost like a chat you would have over a beer. But the more we talked, it turned out Ben was very aware of how we had developed and grown over the last years. So, in a way, just as we were fans of him, 
he had come to be a fan of our work as well. And the more we talked, it became clear that we shared a lot of the same values, most of all when it comes to things like our open source approach. Yeah, you know, we initially thought getting Ben to join Shopware was going to be, you know, pretty long shot. But it turned out he was not only looking for a change, but kind of raring to go with a company that is perhaps a bit smaller, but whose vision for what e-commerce will look like in two, five or ten years is much in line with his own. So when we started talking in earnest about him becoming basically the face of Shopper on the international stage, he was like, I thought you guys would never ask. Hi, I'm Ben Marks, and I'm Director of Global Market Development here at Shopware. I began my journey into the world of open source commerce back in 2003, and ever since then I've been fascinated by platforms that provide openness and transparency in the world of commerce. So I became aware of the Shopware platform uh, partway through my career, and I actually took time out of my schedule in 2016 to go visit Shopware Community Day in Ajos. Uh, I actually met the founders and, and got to know some of the ecosystem there. Uh, and later on, as I started to have conversations with the founders, uh, I realized that they had, they had evolved this product from what they'd originally created into open source, open, transparent platform, completely focused on empowering the merchants. And I said to myself, that's where I want to be. That's, that's what I want to be doing for the next few years, is building something around that. In all my experience in commerce, there is no greater force for, uh, for the good of the industry than open source. Open source allows us to build the experiences that matter, you know, whatever, whatever a merchant needs for their relationship with their customer, whether they can imagine what that is today or discover what it's going to be over time. Open source actually allows, it provides that flexibility that merchants need to be able to build those experiences. And for an open source platform, and an ecosystem built around that platform, you know, we get to shape the future. That's how we become future-proof. We're the ones inventing what's coming next. And everything else has to follow in our footsteps. But along the way, the most important thing for us is that merchants are able to do what they dream and they're able to go wherever they need to go. The freedom of movement and the freedom to control your destiny I couldn't be more thrilled to be part of Shopware. In fact, I feel kind of humbled to be here because I'm joining an ecosystem that's already delivered on the promise of open, transparent commerce. And my goal is to bring Shopware to the world. I'm a firm believer that the world deserves everything that Shopware has to offer. And I want to bring that, that mission of open, transparent commerce to merchants everywhere. Hey, I'm Danny Hünke, and I'm the Managing Director EMEA for our widows. We are a global, full-suit digital commerce anti-agency delivering the entire e-commerce package from the optimization of business strategies and marketing approaches to the actual creative and tech implementation of online shops. Also, we pride ourselves on having an agnostic approach to what e-commerce platforms we work with. I would be lying if I said that we didn't have certain leanings towards our preferred partners. These are some of the global industry leaders like Shopify Plus, BigCommerce and of course Magento, where Ben Marks was a lead evangelist until very recently. So when we heard that Ben was joining Shopware, we immediately went, wow, this is a huge deal. Ben has earned the trust of the entire e-commerce community with his relentless drive to further the cause of open source commerce, both among merchants and developers. And the fact that someone who could have any job in commerce picked Shopware because he believes they are the ones to really push that concept. It really makes us see Shopware with different eyes. 
Also, it makes suggesting Shopware as the right platform for any given project a much easier sell. Ben's presence at Shopware is really going to help legitimize the platform for a lot of people in international markets. Up until now, many hadn't considered it as a serious option. And if the people over at Shopware deliver on the promise of this hire, and I have no doubt they will, they will have a very bright future ahead of them. Having someone as established in the e-commerce community as Ben Marks root for you and drum up support for your platform, it's vitally important. As we have learned from our existing community, it's usually the local agencies and developers who know what's best for the brands and merchants. So they are the driving forces behind the decision which e-commerce platform is used on any particular project. So if Ben can generate excitement for Shopware among international developers and agencies, it will help us to make a push into those markets and support our growth there. When we talk about our growth, people might think, why should we care? But what's important to remember is that we're not just talking about Shopware as a company. We're talking about Shopware as an ecosystem. And when you think about it, even growth is essentially a bottom-up process. Every merchant or brand or um, developer who chooses Shopware bolsters not only us, but the entire community, which then improves the platform. And that's why we think of growth as a result of what we like to call the ecosystem flywheel. The ecosystem flywheel, uh, I believe that's something you're going to have to explain. The core idea behind the ecosystem flywheel is that all involved will profit from it. And it all starts with the customer, with the customer experience. I mean, quality is what attracts users to a platform. So they join the ecosystem. And now let's say one of these customers needs an additional feature. And this feature will start as a feature request and gets picked up by a partner from our community who creates an extension or an app, and that's the next step. Or well, this request might even bring new developers into the ecosystem who wants to take up this challenge. So the whole community is getting bigger and bigger you will have more agencies, partners, and developers included to the ecosystem. And this is the moment where it really turns into this ecosystem flywheel, where the whole thing starts spinning. Let's say a partner develops an app that supplies the requested feature. And this makes the entire Shopware platform better and more attractive to agencies who create online shops for brands and merchants. It also strengthens the entire platform because it, in turn, improves the customer experience. But on a higher level, every added feature improves the cost-to-performance ratio of the Shopware platform. It means delivering more for less and yet again providing a better customer experience. Yeah, and then it starts all over again, turning the Shopware ecosystem into a self-reinforcing loop. Think of it like this little snowball that is getting bigger and bigger as it rolls down a hill and picks up more snow. Yeah, and that, in a nutshell, is the ecosystem flywheel. A perfect example of our communal growth concept at work is Shopware United, a group of Shopware developers, merchants, and other fans of our ecosystem. Their goal is to connect the members of the Shopware community even better, so they can share information freely among each other, but also with us establishing clearer channels of communication so that requests or concerns that might otherwise get lost always reach us. And since Shopware United uses English as its primary language, it's a perfect focus point for our growing international community. It also works as a kind of an interface to make sure the English-speaking community can profit from all the knowledge that already exists inside our German community. And that fantastic community is the strongest foundation for our international growth that I can think of. Sometimes it can feel a bit strange to me how far we've come and where we're about to go. We're still within a stone's throw from where Stefan and I grew up, from our parents' home, from where we went to school. We are now rated as one of the e-commerce platforms to watch, moving up to 
to challenge the big players of the business. When you think about it in these terms, it even sounds a bit scary. It makes that little voice at the back of my head say, you have done pretty well so far. No, don't mess this up. The world at large is transforming at a rapid pace and the world of e-commerce is changing even faster. Change always means opportunity, both to succeed and to stumble. React too late and you are left by the wayside. Lead the way in the right direction and the sky is the limit. With Shopify 6, we now have the right technology for this journey. But more importantly, we have the right ecosystem, the right community, the right people. No matter where or how far we go next, there's one thing we always have to remember. It's not just about tech. It's not just about business. It's about all of us, about humans, about making lives a little better. As long as we don't lose sight of this, two things are certain. This journey has only just begun. And the best is yet to come. <laughs>